you know, let's continue on the brunch train. Welcome back. Today we're talking about the orange blossom. The orange blossom was created during Prohibition. Now, during Prohibition, you had a lot of bad things begin. Most notable was like bathtub gin, which was very poorly made and really not great for you at all. Not to say alcohol itself is great for you, but no. So to cover up the bathtub gin and how bad it was, people began really utilizing fresh juices and uh, other parts of you know, what could be made for cocktails as a way to mask that bad taste. The Orange Blossom was created in that same vein. It's similar to a Bronx um, and also partially similar to a screwdriver. We'll talk about those in later episodes. Uh, it's also very similar to uh, the gin and juice. And while we may be laid back a little bit, it's not entirely that. That's also a later video. This cocktail was created by Albert Stevens Crockett in the Old Waldorf Astoria Hotel and is actually in the bar book of the same name, published in 1935. So, I haven't had one. Let's go ahead and get into this. This is a shaken cocktail, which of course means I'm going to bust out my new shaker. Bust out the new shaker for this one. Need an ounce of orange juice? Freshly squeezed, if at all possible. Now I need an ounce of sweet vermouth. I'm going to be using Antica Formula. And now on to the hard stuff, I need gin. I'm using Tangeray, beef eater's fine, forest is fine, whatever. I'm using Tangeray, nice, easy, lemon dry gin. Actually, no, I have already started pouring this. Instead of utilizing lemon dry, I'm going to use Old Tom gin. This is ransom, so I'm going to do an ounce of Old Tom gin. You know what's next? Grab your ice. Okay, got your ice in, add your cocktail, pop. Good. There we go. Take a Nicanora. Hawthorne. And, as always, strain on in. And now for garnish, like so. And this is an orange blossom. Cheers. Hmm. Nice. The gin. And the sweet vermouth play well with the orange juice. You know, it's herbal. It's slightly bitter. A little bit of sweetness would work, would help this, in my opinion. But it's not bad at all. If someone serves this to me, I'm fine. You know, you get the refreshment of the orange juice. Get the um, added complexities of the vermouth, of the old Tom gin. A London dry might help this, might also work. In fact, I think it'll work very well. But going and utilizing this. And you can actually see through how it looks. It's not pulp or anything like that, but the orange juice itself helping to cloud this, I understand would work if you have someone that did bathtub gin and you're trying to mask it. This helped. Uh, this helps a lot and I understand it. It's a good cocktail, I have to say. And it's a good way to help get yourself into, uh, into the spring season. If you like the video, then please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share the video, please. If you want to use any of the barware I use on my show, check the links down below. They are Amazon affiliate links, which means that if you make, if you click a link and make a purchase of that item, I receive a bit of the kickback. Thank you in advance. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll be back real soon with another cocktail. And this has been The Beginner's Bar.